Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to solve some examples on plinth area method. In this video, we are going to solve two examples of plinth area method. This is a type of estimate any structure. So I have ex explained the types of estimates in the previous videos. Like I have divided it into two parts and explained it. If you haven't watched those videos, please go check it out in my channel because that is a prerequisite to understand it very clearly. Coming back to the example, we are solving two examples here. Okay? Let's solve the first one. Prepare an approximate estimate of building project with total plinth area of the building is 800 square meters. And from the following data, they have given us total plinth area of the building. And they want us to estimate the building project. They have given us following data also. That is plinth area rate is 4500 per square meter. Cost of water supply is at 7.5% of the total cost of building. Cost of sanitary and electrical installations each at 7.5% of total cost of building. Cost of architectural features at the rate 1%. That is at 1% of the building cost. Cost of roads and lawns, 5% of the building cost. Cost of PSN's contingencies at 4% of the building cost. Determine the total cost of project. So this is the question. Now we are going to see the solution part. See, we are given with the plinth area, total area and area rate, plinth area rate. That is, see, total we have 800 square meters. But the rate is 4500 per square meter. Okay? Next, we also have to add all these elements, the sanitary, electric installation, architectural features, roads, lawns, PS and contingencies. Okay? See, this is the solution. We are given with plinth area, that is 800 meter square, or square meter, plinth area rate per square meter. Total cost of building is simply whatever the rate is there per square meter multiplied by total area. Okay? Per square meter multiplied by total area. We will get the cost of the building. And now we are adding all the other elements one by one. Okay. Whatever the first element is there. That is water supply charges. At 7.5% of total building. Okay. This is the cost of building. Right. So we are just taking 7.5%. That is 7.5% of that. This is the value. And we are adding sanitary and electrical installation that is 15 percent of this building cost we are given with this building cost we are taking only the 15 percent of that next the cost of architectural features at one percent one percent of the same rate again cost of roads and lawns at five percent see this is the value multiplied by five percent whenever we are taking percentage we have to multiply the amount like we need the percentage of this value right so this multiplied by 5%. So 5 by 100. 10% means 10 by 100. 15% means 15 by 100. Okay. Whatever the value is there, that multiplied by the percentage value divided by 100. Next, we have cost, uh, cost of PS and contingencies, 4%. Again, this is the value. Now, we need to add all these values. Okay. Initially, the building cost was this much, 36 lakhs. But after adding all of this, add all this, oh, the 1, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. After adding all of that, we got the cost of building as 47,70,000. And we are also assuming supervision charges as 8% on overall cost. See, whenever I am talking about the roads and lawns, we talk about the cost of building. But... <coughs> But when we are evaluating the supervision charges, we will take the 8% of overall cost. Overall cost is included by all of this. Is included with all of this water supply, sanitary, electrical, architectural, road, PS, contingencies. Because all this need to be supervised, right? All of this works need to be supervised. So that is whole multiplied by 8 by 100, okay? We are just taking 8% of that. Okay? grand total again this is the total multiplied by the supervision charges gives us a grand total okay we are done with this first example 
simply when we need a cost of building in a plinth area method we have to multiply the plinth area with the plinth area rate that is the rate of that okay the plinth area multiplied by the plinth area rate i have also explained how we'll get this plinth area rate okay it is by taking the similar structure in that same locality by means of some specifications we'll get this value of plinth area rate if you haven't watched that video please go check it out and please do subscribe to my channel it would greatly help me coming to the second example the plinth area of an apartment is 500 square meters determine the total cost of building from the following data see this is the rate of construction the rate of construction is 1230 rupees per meter cube per meter cube we have given it in the previous one we got it in m meter square that is in area but here we are getting per meter cube and we are also given the height of the apartment water supply sanitary charges again electrical installation 6% of building cost the architectural appearance 1% of the building cost unforeseen items 2% and psn contingencies 4% first of all we have to get the plinth area rate okay the plinth area rate is nothing but the cost of building is cubic content multiplied by cubic rate that is see 500 that is cubic content the 500 multiplied by the height that is the area multiplied by the height gives us the cubic content the volume okay and we are given with the cubic rate cubic rate is the rate per cubic meter okay whatever the total volume the, the cubic content is there that is this and we are multiplying the rate per cubic meter okay we will get the total cost of building but we should also add water supply sanitary charges electrical installations at 6% right we are adding that 6% and as i told you it is each 6% we have three elements over here water supply sanitary and electrical so we'll just take 6 6 6 that is 6 plus 6 plus 6 that gives us 18 so it is 18% of that okay that is 18% of the building cost i have mentioned over here clearly next going to the architectural appearance that is 1% unforeseen items 2% ps and contingencies at 4% okay see whatever the elements were there over here we are adding it simply to get the total but as i told you we we'll have sunrise i told you ls and uh, contingencies in that right so that is this amount which is already given so the total cost of the building project is nothing but the grand total of all of this okay simply 1 crore 25 lakhs we will just simply add all these elements but remember how this is Uh, different from the previous problem in that problem we were given the plinth area of the building along with the plinth area rate but here we are given with the plinth area height and the cubic rate as we need to multiply the cubic rate with cubic content only as this is in meter cube we need to multiply the rate see this is something rupees per meter cube right so we have to multiply it with something that is in meter cube so that all this meter cube and meter cube would cancel would get cancel and we get something the value in rupees okay so i simply multiplied the area with the height of the apartment this is how we'll get this see this is how we'll get the total cost of building that is the grand total okay That is it for this video guys please like share comment to my channel please subscribe to my channel that would greatly help me i appreciate you watching this video thank you